right, so my name is Katie Sensaba. Um, I started attending Bridge Church in 2020 online when we were not allowed to come to church physically. I'm Jake Sensaba. I started going to Bridge in early this year, early January 2021. We got married in September of 2015 and then had our son Aaron in uh, 2017. 2018 kind of threw us in a tailspin. My grandfather passed away um, and he was always a big part of my life. We lived with him for a few years growing up. Um, and then I want to say it was like two days later, um, we, we had found out that we were pregnant and then two days after my grandpa passed, we found out that the baby did not have a heartbeat. Um, so that was hard. Like Pastor said in his message, um, if you let bitterness into your heart, it causes a lot of problems, um, and it did, big time. Leading up to the divorce when we were separated, um, you know, God was kind of like slowly chipping away at like the, my heart and heart, and um, I had actually come to Jake before our divorce was finalized and asked him, you know, would you forgive me? Can we work this out? And he said he needed, you know, time to think about that. Yeah, so what, what kind of led to us splitting up led to me feeling resent towards Katie at that point. And I got to a point where I just shut, I shut down completely. Like I didn't want to feel anything anymore. Last year through 2020, when I mean, those feelings started to dissipate, I started to feel less angry towards her. And God just kept chipping away and chipping away. And um, he put the desire in my heart again, like go talk to him again. So I did, and it did not go the way I wanted. He, again, said no. But that discussion led me to go over to my parents' house. I had told my mom, I said, Mom, I don't look forward to anything good because I don't think I deserve anything good. She said to me, she said, um, Katie, God is weeping with you right now. And that was just so life-changing. The next day was April 6, 2020. And I accepted Christ into my life. And I mean, my whole, my whole life just changed. You know, throughout the year, we were kind of just, we would slowly start doing kind of things as a family together. Dinners and just taking Aaron to the park. And I thought, oh great, like maybe God is softening his heart too. Um, and then later that month, um, Jake actually told me, he said, I've been thinking about us getting back together. And, you know, he wanted to th take things slow and I was fine with that. And unfortunately that was short lived because in November then he said that he had changed his mind. Uh, maybe there was a part of me that was just afraid or maybe there was just too much anxiety about, you know, what it was going to take to get back to where we were. In that, you know, in that time during the middle of December into January, I just started, I started praying more and more. I needed to connect with him more so he could do more work in me so we could kind of get back to where we wanted to be. I was reading a book. They had us actually write down the date and then to make a, a statement. And so I wrote, uh, January 15th, 2021. Um, by faith, I am going to trust the Lord with Jake's salvation and the restoration of our marriage and family. And then on January 20th of 2021, we actually got back together. We had both pursued God kind of on our own. And now we got to pursue God together as a couple. And then after, you know, a couple of months, we started uh, premarital counseling with Pastor Todd, and that is also something that we did not do. We were talking to Pastor Todd, and he kind of asked us, you know, like, when when are you thinking of, of getting married? And I was like, well, we've got a lot of people getting married in our family. It's not our first rodeo. We don't want to steal anybody's thunder. It probably won't be until, like, 2023. And he goes, well, I go on sabbatical next week, and when I come back, why don't you just get married here? And I was like, well, that's a really good idea. Like. <laughs> You know, we 
we have this son that we want to be a good influence to. And so on August 17th, when, when Todd came back um, from his trip, we were upstairs, we got married, and it was just a, a nice simple ceremony between us and God. And um, yeah, I mean, it, it couldn't have, couldn't have been better. <laughs>